teach you. Video games based on movies must be difficult to make. I get that. I completely understand the developers are under strict time schedules to get out a product to cash in off the success of the movie. Also, they have to follow a storyline that they did not write or create, a story that is hours shorter. So they have to simply expand sections while trying to keep what makes the movie special. That is not an easy task. And a game like The Golden Compass is a perfect representation of the principles I just outlined. It follows the movie and does what it can to simply bring that to the interactive world, but it fails to capture anything unique and or special. Lyra saw the darkness beneath the engaging exterior and did not like it. You play the game from the perspective of Lyra a young orphan girl who sets out on an adventure. I would go into detail about the story, but the game doesn't really feel the need to do that. If you have watched the movie or read the book, you will learn that Lyra is trying to get to the North Pole to rescue the kidnapped children. The game also doesn't explain the concept of animal demons. These are the characters' souls that exist outside them and in the form of animals. A lot will be missed on the player if they have no idea of the source material and just went in. The game is somewhat of an adventure platform. You mostly play as Lyra as she explores the different areas. You will run, jump, and explore the different areas with the help of Pan, her demon. Pan can turn into many different forms that help with solving puzzles and completing objectives, such as being a sloth that can help swing across gaps, and a hawk that can help glide the platforms, and even a wildcat that can dash. The game makes it pretty clear which form you need to use. Lyra can also talk to people and will need to persuade them by winning little minigames. There are also sections where you can control Yorick, a mighty armor bear. These are more action-oriented sections, with orc slashing and running while fighting wolves and hunters. These sections have fairly decent combat, although they are quite limited with simple hacks and slashes, but do a good job in breaking up the gameplay. The game is clearly for fans of the books or movie, with scenes from the movie being used as cutscenes. The problem is, if you are not already a fan, this game won't make you into one. The story will be lost on you, and the gameplay is quite repetitive. Just making for another example of a disappointing movie game being added to the already long list. 